Hi, I'm Lenny Kaminsky, Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Cardiopulmonary Rehabilitation and Prevention. I'm pleased to provide a brief overview of our March 2022 issue. First, I want to inform you that JCRP is welcoming Dr. Sherry Grace from the University Health Network at the University of Toronto as an associate editor. Dr. Grace brings a wealth of expertise related to cardiac rehabilitation to the journal. We have an outstanding group of papers in, in this issue, and I will briefly highlight three of these papers. First is the commentary led by Ryan Kimridge with mentorship from Dr. Barry Franklin. This timely report highlights potential strategies to address shared determinants of CVD and COVID-19 with specific reference to social disparities as well as prevention. The second was a study led by Dr. David Goldstein and researchers from Yale University using data from the silver AMI cohort of older persons who'd had a heart attack. They noted a number of both demographic as well as clinical factors that are associated with participation in cardiac rehabilitation programs. The third was a report from the Montana Outcomes Project led by Dr. John Quindry. They analyzed data from over 30,000 patient files that demonstrated phase two cardiac rehabilitation is highly effective in controlling resting blood pressures with some disparities based on sex, race or ethnicity, as well as insurance access. If you haven't already, I encourage you to sign up to get alerts from JCRP when a new issue or papers are published online become available. I also encourage you to use the links on our website to share articles on your social media platforms. Please take a little time to review all the outstanding articles in this issue and be sure to also download the infographic which promotes the importance of strength training. I hope you enjoy this issue of the Journal of Cardiopulmonary Rehabilitation and Prevention.